This episode of The Young Turks is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook at audiblepodcast.com slash TYT. Go. Now, yesterday we told you about the uh, judge that ruled that uh, the health care uh, reform that was passed was unconstitutional. I thought he made an interesting uh, constitutional argument. I didn't dismiss it out of hand. I, and who knows? You know, uh, it, it's something that should be further litigated. Now, all the other judges have ruled in the opposite direction. But since he's ruled this way, of course, the government is going to appeal, and it might go to the Supreme Court. Well, here comes a twist in the story today. Turns out uh, Judge Henry E. Hudson, who made this ruling, has an ownership stake worth between fifteen and fifty thousand dollars in a GOP consulting firm who tried to defeat health care reform and then repeal it. Now they didn't win politically. They got paid. The company that he partly owns got paid to try to defeat health care. They lost. But well, look at that. Judge Hudson happens to be the guy who gets the case to decide whether they repeal health care through an activist judge. And he says, yeah, of course, yeah, to repeal it. Oh, it's unconstitutional, etc. Now, you think that that might be a slight conflict of interest? That you were getting specifically paid to do this exact same thing? Did that not occur to you that that might be a conflict of interest? Well, you might say, oh, well, look, they got paid for that in the past, and, and now I'm sure he is unbiased and making this. No, first of all, you don't get to make that decision, okay? You don't get to say, no, no, you don't understand. I will avoid the bias that plagues other mere mortals, uh, uh, but uh, I will get to rule on this case even though it looks like I have a financial interest in it. Okay? Now, because you, you think that his GOP consulting firm might get further contracts later based on this ruling? Of course! You think, hey, listen, I give to Henry Hudson, Henry Hudson gives to me. <laughs> if you're the health insurance companies and you didn't like this, right, and Henry Hudson just did your bidding, believe me, his consulting firm is going to get a lot more money the next time around. But, I mean, at the very least, it is a giant appearance of conflict of interest. But that's nothing compared to what you find out next. Guess who was among the clients for Judge Hudson's uh, consulting firm? The Virginia Attorney General, who was arguing the case. You gotta be kidding me, man! So this guy, the Cuccinelli, gave a $9,000 to the judge's consulting firm. And then he says, oh, well, shockingly enough, it turns out the judge liked Cuccinelli's argument and then paid him back. I mean, I mean, ruled in his favor. That's insane. No, no, no. That's, just, that's not, what, have we turned into a third world country? Is this a banana republic? What the hell's going on here? You can't judge in that, you can't rule on that case. You got to recuse yourself. Or the appeals court's got to say, no, this is, there's no way he can rule on this case. And send that back to a judge that doesn't have a financial interest in it. This is crazy, man. No, hell no, man. Hell no. I'm pretty sure my friend Ed Reed has something to say about this. Hey, Ed, should he get to rule on this case? Hell no! Can't do it. That's what Singletary says, too. Come on, it's open and shut. If they don't overturn this, I mean, if they don't say, hey, this guy had a conflict of interest, it's, this country is hopeless, man. All the regular rules and laws that we had, they, apparently nothing applies anymore. You just buy people. In which case, let's go buy some folks. I don't know, let's wrestle up some money. Go buy a couple of judges and a couple of senators. Maybe we can get our way then. I'm not even playing around. I, I don't mean do bribes. I, don't, I mean, like, I'm being literal, like, in the sense of, if it's so easy to buy the politicians and nine thousand dollars buys you a judge and it's all legal what are we suckers why are we only letting the bankers buy them audible.com is the leading provider of audiobooks in fact they have over seventy five thousand titles and you can listen on your ipod or your mp3 player you can uh, listen to it anywhere at any time it's incredibly convenient and they have books in every single genre imaginable. You can get a free audiobook if you go to audiblepodcast.com slash TYT. Totally true.